Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today I wanted to take a look and see how much we need to have invested into VOO, which is an ETF with Vanguard and being able to earn over $1,000 every single month with this investment. Now, when it comes to the ETF for VOO, they only pay out quarterly. So effectively we're looking for, you know, $3,000 every quarter. And then that breaks down to about $1,000 a month. So what we're going to do is actually hop over on the desktop right here to a website called tipranks.com. Um, I couldn't plug in VOO by itself, so we're going to manually do all this. Um, I actually I actually haven't even plugged in these numbers outside of this video, so we're going to be following along in real time to see how much we need to have invested to be able to earn this money every single month slash quarter. So I also brought up my Seeking Alpha website here. So it's not really my website, but uh, just seekingalpha.com um, so we can plug in some of this information here. So uh, first what we're going to do is see how much you know Vanguard is worth right now, which is $427.40. So we're going to do $427.40. And then oh, we're going to have to go back over here. So there's some information we're going to have to plug in here. Uh, number of shares, how long we're going to hold it for. I'm going to guess for 20 years right now. Um, we're going to, again, change these numbers up a little bit. Uh, then what it's going to do is it's going to ask us for expected dividend yield. So what we want to do is go to our dividend uh, page right over here. And what we're going to see is what the dividend yield is currently, which is 1.27%. So we're going to go ahead and change that to 1.27%. They pay out on a quarterly basis, like we kind of mentioned. Currently, the annual contribution here is zero, but we're going to change that in a sec. And it says expected annual dividend increase. And again, if we go back to Seeking Alpha, the five-year average growth is about 5.61%. But of course, that can always change. Uh, but we're going to just do 5% uh, going right there. And it says expected annual share price increase. Uh, we can be a little bit on the safer side and do, let's say, 6% every year. We're expected to have the share price increase. And then we have the drip program right over here, which is um, you know reinvesting the dividends that we earn from this company or this ETF, I should say, back into it itself. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, of course, starting out here, it says that we're doing 100 shares, which would equal 42,740. Now, that's definitely not reasonable for most people. So what we're going to do is get started with something much more reasonable. Let's go ahead and say we're going to do starting off with five shares. So five shares equals out to about $2,137 as of this recording. Obviously, that's going to always change based off of the market going up and down and stuff. But let's just go and say this. Maybe you got a nice tax return or maybe you refinanced your student loans, which I always encourage people to do because it's free to do. And you lowered your interest rate and now you have more money in your pocket and maybe a nice bonus. So um, if you actually do want to refinance your student loans, I always have a link down below because I love when people save money that way to be able to use it to invest or do anything else with. Um, so right over here. We're gonna see here, we're gonna obviously need to add money uh, every single year into this account. So I would say for most people, if we can at least do 100 bucks a month, that would be, a you know, I don't wanna say bare minimum, but that would be a really good starting point. But if we can do about $200 a month, that would equal out to $2,400 every single year. I wish we can do this on a monthly basis personally, but that's totally okay. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and calculate our returns here. And we're gonna see where we land in this, uh, in this sector here. So at the end of our 20 years, estimated to have around $124,900 balance. Now, our annual return is about 7.46%. And you can see our annual dividends um, after 20 years would be about 3,642. So not anywhere close we want to be because let me bring my calculator here. So 342 divided by 12. That would only equal out to about $300. So we definitely need to step up our game here to see what else we can do. But the nice thing is check out our yield on cost is about 8.5% because, of course, the yields are going up um, every year. So let's go ahead and change some of these numbers out and maybe even change the holding period. So maybe we hold it for 25, 25 years because that really helps. And then let's say we can do 3600 a year. So let's go ahead and calculate these returns here and see where we're at. So from here, we're going to have an ending balance. Of course, these, again, are all estimates and uh, whatnot. So after 25 years, almost $312,000 annual return of about 9.5%. And then check this out. Annual dividend income, we're looking about $11,664. So if we divide that by 12, that's $972. So that's very close. And I know some people are like, well, that's 25 years from now. But hey, if you don't do anything now, you're never going to get to where you want to be in the future. So investing you know, earlier 
can always have a huge impact on you. I mean, imagine if you're 25 watching this and then start investing now. By the time you're 50, you'll be having this extra $1,000 every single month. Well, technically 3,000 every quarter and just having that money coming in all the time. And then you can reinvest it if you want to, to keep earning more, or you can just, you know, do nothing and, and keep it for yourself and utilize it. Cause check this out. My favorite thing is let's just go ahead and say everything else stays the same, but we jump to 30 years. All of a sudden we're making $26,000 every single year just by waiting an extra five years. So every year that money keeps compounding and growing and having more of an impact on how much you're gonna have at the end of the year or at the end of every month if you're earning dividends uh, with the intent of living off of them as well. So just putting in that, you're gonna have a lot. I mean, look at this, after 30 years, you're gonna have over half a million dollars in this account. But that means you gotta be consistent with investing every single month, You know, getting started with about $2,000, but if you have to start with less, maybe start trying to put in more every month when you can, so that way you have those impacts Every single time you're, you know, thinking about, well, should I do this? Should I not? You know, is it going to have an impact in my future? Yes, it can. Now, this is obviously just one fund and these are just hypotheticals. So don't take this with, you know, you know, exact numbers because that thing can, things can always change. You know, markets will go down markets will go up, whatever the case may be. So these numbers will definitely fluctuate on a regular basis. So, you know, look at where they're at during this time when you're watching this video, because it might be different in, you know, six months to a year. And these numbers will definitely need to be, you know, adjusted to, to see if it fits your needs to be able to hit those goals, whether it's a thousand dollars a month, whether it's, you know, at least a hundred dollars a month coming in because you want to use it for something else. You can always make it work based off of where you need to be and making sure that you stick with it. Cause consistency is probably the biggest thing when it comes to investing. And I know a lot of investors know that, that even if you get started with small amounts, like $10 a week, that might get you excited enough to start then bumping it up to 20, 40, a hundred dollars a week and really having an impact on your financial future, which if for some reason you don't have an investing account already, my favorite one is M1 Finance. I talk about it a lot on this channel. Um, I'll have a link for them in the show notes down below. You get a nice bonus um, and it supports my channel, but I want you to keep watching more investing videos as well. So that way you can keep getting excited about this stuff. So check out my video right over here to keep on learning and growing with your investments. My name is Dennis and I'll see you in that next video.